now that we have all of our note cards into our outline right here, I'll be concentrating on this part of the outline. Now, you'll be doing yours when the whole thing is finished, uh, every line in the outline. But for now, we'll turn this paragraph into our rough draft. And this is my favorite thing about Noodle Tools, that I no longer have to retype my note cards. So in order to turn these note cards into an actual rough draft without having to retype all of them, over here in the outline section, because you want it to print your outlines in the order that, or your note cards in the order that you arranged them in the outline. So you would want this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. And Noodle Tools will do that for you. You just go up here to the printer and hit that. And it may take it a moment, but this one's pretty quick. Now here at school, we have Word 2013. So you, the Doc X ones are okay. At home, if you have an older version of 2013, you're going to want to look at the RTF ones. But I'm at school, so I'll be using the Doc X. Now, I don't want just the outline. I want it to print the outline and my note cards. So I'm going to be choosing one of the ones down here. And I have Word 2013, so I'm going to use Doc X. Just going to mark that one. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit. Now it gives me a list of choices. I don't need it to print out the URLs for me. I didn't put those in anyway. And I don't need tags or visual cues. And I don't want it to print out those quotation boxes where I copied and pasted my information directly. I don't want that showing up in my paper. You can leave the source and the page number on there. If you're not entirely sure your in-text citations were perfect, it's a good way to check them. But I for certain absolutely want those paraphrase cards and those my idea cards printed because that's the actual information I want in my paper. I don't need the history creator. So once you've got all the tags you want, and again, the source and the page number are up to you, I'm going to leave them on there so I can check my in-text citations. Go ahead and hit submit. And this box at school will pop up. Um, it's a security measure, and I'm going to tell you that whenever that comes up, you can go right ahead and hit that click here, and it'll continue working. I'm going to open my document before I save it. You can save it directly, but I like to take a look at it and make sure everything's perfect. Down here, you'll see those three little dots going back and forth. That means Noodle Tools is now taking all of my note cards and composing them and putting them in order, and here they are. Go ahead in our Word 2013. You'll have to enable the editing by hitting this button. I'm going to do that. And as you can see, Noodle Tools took the entire outline and printed it in order with the note cards put in that order. Very nice feature. Now, how can I turn this into my rough draft? Well, I've eliminated everything except that third paragraph outline and make it a little bit easier. So here's my third paragraph and there's my topic sentence note card. There's the source, which one I took it from, and there's the page number. So I can check my in-text citation and make sure that it is still correct. First word, and that is correct, and the page number right here is correct. So that in-text citation is good, and I don't need to check it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. And now that I know my sourcing is correct, I can go right ahead and eliminate the outline, the source, the page number, and the paraphrase. And when I pull this to the top of my paper, all the way to the top, and tab it in, there's the first line of my third paragraph. The My Idea card comes after that. I'll delete the word My Idea. And using the Delete and the Backspace key, I'll pull it up and pull it into line. Here's my A card. I check to make sure my in-text citation is correct. On page 96, the period is after the citation. That looks correct to me. 
I can go ahead and delete the source, the page, and the word paraphrase. And using the delete key in the backspace, pull it up next to this one. Here's the my idea that goes with that card. I'm going to back that up, put a little space. And I'm going to keep doing that until I have created using the backspace key. I have to put my A back in there. A paragraph. And there's the my idea. I'll, using the delete key. I'll pull that up. Here's my third piece of information. A nice quote that I'm going to be using in my paragraph. And there's my fourth, oh, the my idea that goes with that. And I'll pull that up into line and backspace that. The next piece of information is a nice paraphrased card. Oh, I need a period here. I'll pull that into line. And there's the my idea for that one. And now that is in line. And last but not least, I've checked the little quote I used in my concluding sentence. And when I read it in order, I have completed a paragraph. Everything is cited properly. My in-text citations are correct. Notice that not everything in this paragraph came from the same source. I have varied my sources within the paragraph. I have some extra spaces here. And all that's left for me to do is read it over carefully, fix any spelling mistakes I may see, and I have a rough draft without having to type again. When I'm happy with everything in my rough draft, of course, I can go ahead and file and save it in my H drive and print a copy out for myself. Make sure when you save it in your H drive, you name it rough draft so you don't mistake it later on and accidentally turn your rough draft in as your final copy.